More than 40,000 Cub fans are expected to fill Wrigley for the first time since 2019. Eric Rung is live inside Wrigley this morning with more. Eric. Good morning. Well, I tell you what, you could not ask for a better day for baseball out here at Wrigley. The sun is shining. It is absolutely gorgeous out here. The Cubs are playing great baseball, and of course, they are taking on their rivals, the Cardinals, here today. Now, it's hard to believe that it was back in 2019, the last time that all of these seats here in Wrigley were filled up. That's all going to change today at 120 when that first pitch is thrown out here at Wrigley. Cubs dubbing today, opening day 2.0. 40,000 plus will be rocking Wrigley once again after capacity limits uh, were put in place to open up this season. The last time Wrigley was at full capacity, the Cubs were also playing the Cardinals, but it was in September of 2019. Of course, the Cubs evolved like every other team in Major League Baseball to bring fans back this season, which meant capacity limits, mass and touchless payments and tickets. I spoke a short time ago to Cubs president of sales and marketing, Colin Faulkner. Seeing the ballpark with no fans was certainly bizarre, um, but when we came back to 60% fans, uh, it started to feel our fans were very loud and it started to really feel like what could be uh, what we're going to have today, which is 100% a, a, a capacity in the ballpark. And I think uh, also, you know, the ability to not have a mask and see people's faces if they're vaccinated, um, I think that'll be a lot different too. Uh, we've missed a lot of faces and just to be able to see people's smiles when they rock into Wrigley Field will be awesome. And obviously, we all had to make adjustments during the pandemic, including the Cubs when they did bring back fans this season. Are some of those things going to continue moving forward? Yeah, so we will continue some of the things that we've adopted during during COVID. So uh, touchless, a lot of the touchless things with mobile ticketing, mobile concessions, those things will continue. Uh, our scanning and entry process, which is a lot faster than it was before, and really forced us to, to think about how we could get people in the ballpark uh, with less touch points, and those things will continue this year. Now, the Cubs really are treating this like an opening day out here. They got bunting up. They're going to have Bill Murray out here to sing the seventh inning stretch. And, of course, a bunch of Hall of Famers out here to throw out the ceremonial first pitch. Once again, Cubs cards 120 full capacity right here at Wrigley Field. We are live at Wrigley Field. I'm Eric Rung, WGN News.